Hello and welcome everyone to our latest presentation on hypothermia versus normothermia in out of hospital cardiac arrest that is the TTM2 trial this has been published recently in NEJ if you want to look into the previous trials then you can watch the video above in this study the objective was targeted hypothermia versus targeted normothermia in out of hospital cardiac arrest to assess the beneficial and harmful effects of hypothermia and they hypothesized that at 6 months the incidence of death would be lower in the hypothermia group so this was basically a superiority trial now the trial design as we already said is a superiority trial international study over various countries of europe and north america and australia investigator initiated superiority trial randomization was done in one to one basis and it was mainly being regulated from sweden the inclusion was out of hospital cardiac arrest with unknown cause sustained roc which was defined as at least 20 minutes with signs of circulation unconsciousness defined as unable to obey verbal commands or for score less than 4 eligible for icu care without restriction and inclusion within 180 minutes of roc exclusion was unwitnessed cardiac arrest with initial rhythm of asystole temperature less than 130 patient already on an ecmo obvious or suspected pregnancy intracranial bleed severe copd with long term home oxygen therapy now if you look at the outcomes the primary outcome was all cause mortality as a step 6 months secondary outcome was proportion of patients with poor neurological function with mrs scale number of days alive outside hospital within 6 months health related quality of life as a step 6 months time to event that is survival at 6 months the trial intervention the intervention period of 40 hours began at the time of randomization patients who were assigned to the hypothermia group were immediately cooled with surface or intravascular temperature management devices to a target temperature of 33 degrees centigrade this target was maintained until 28 hours after randomization followed by rewarming to 37 degrees centigrade with an hourly increment of 1/3 degree In normothermia group the aim was to maintain a temperature of 37.5 degree centigrade or less. Sedation was mandatory for 40 hours but there was no defined protocol for sedation and analgesia those short acting drugs and volatile anesthetic was recommended. Sedation was cited to achieve deep sedation that is a rash score of minus -4 with no response to voice or pain. Now coming to the results of the study. In this study 4355 patients were assessed out of which 2455 could not be included in the trial 1900 patients were randomized into the group that is hypothermia 449 patients and into normothermia 451 patients they were assessed for mortality at 6 months functional outcome and quality of life in the baseline characteristics the age is around 63 mostly they are male with hypertension and diabetes as major risk factors the location of cardiac arrest was residence in most of the cases initially they all had a shockable rhythm non shockable rhythm was around 28% cases median time to roc is 25 minutes from arrest to randomization was around 130 minutes the clinical characteristics at admission was similar in both the groups the temperature difference friends achieved by the intervention was significant and it was sustained throughout the period so there was not much overlap and they could achieve what they wanted to achieve now if you look at the outcomes at 6 months the modified ranking scale was similar in both the groups in terms of sex age time to roc initial rhythm or shock on admission they could not find any difference in any group so they didn't find any group with better outcome similar findings were seen in terms of mortality hypothermia was not showing benefit in any of the predefined subgroups now in probability of survival it was similar in the two groups sustained up till the 6 months period no difference was found now in the final outcome if we see there is no difference in both the groups only thing that we find different is the significantly increased arrhythmia in the hypothermia group so no benefit rather adverse effect was more with hypothermia so the study has certain limitations which we must take into consideration the first is that the sedation is not protocolized 
individual icus have their own standard of care which could be significantly different between the two groups and it could have affected the final outcome and it was not standardized obviously the study was unblinded because they could know who was getting hypothermia there is no control group since the normothermia was a something which was targeted they were not having a group where the temperature was not being targeted and there were certain protocol violations as well but the take home message in spite of the limitation would be that we do not see any benefit of hypothermia there is definitely a higher risk of hypothermia in terms of arrhythmia which we see over here almost 8% higher risk of arrhythmia now strong evidence against hypothermia now it is high times the guidelines are revised because they all been recommending hypothermia until now there have been significant studies which showed no benefit of hypothermia but we do need further studies especially to find out if there is at all any subgroup which can show some benefit of hypothermia thank you for your patience and check our website for further information